Hello everyone, this is the parts I'm going to be using for the solar generator and that you can also use to build your solar generator. And I'll quickly go through these. Here's just a leftover battery I have. It's a Mighty Max 35 amp hour battery. I'll be used to power it and charge up. I've got a rigid Pro Gear System 2 which I'll be storing everything in. I've got a 10 amp solar charger. It's just a cheap one on Amazon. Here's a, some 10 gauge wires, 10 feet of each black and red, a 1000 watt continuous power, 2000 peak power inverter from Harbor Freight. We've also got the two gauge wires that go with it. A battery shut off for the shut off power to the inverter when we're not using it. A fan to keep everything cool. A outlet with USB-C, regular USB and two 120 volt plugs. We've also got an SAE connector to plug in the solar panel or battery charger, however you plan on charging this thing up. And we've lastly got some 12 volt um, voltage readers so you can tell what your battery's at and how charged it is outside of the thing. So I'll go ahead and start with this build. So I just went ahead and modified the box a little bit. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I had to go in with the Dremel and cut these supports off to get some more flat surfaces. It looks pretty rough, but it's just really scratches from the Dremel. So what I'm going to do now is take this and we're going to put it over here. I'm going to stick it on the inside over here and how we're going to do that is cut a hole. It's the size. I've got some... We're going to take this. I found this pretty good size. Alright, now we've got this installed. It's not perfect, but battery off, battery on, battery off. You can see this side where we'll be able to hook up the wire from the battery to the inverter and we can shut off the power to the inverter when we're not using it. Now we'll go ahead and install our voltage sensor. You can see here it'll tell us our voltage when it's connected to the battery. Now we'll get a hole saw that fits perfectly. is taken M4 threaded bolts, metric bolts, which are 20 millimeters long. And I've drilled four holes through here and I've mounted the inverter. So after filing it down, I was able to put in the M4 size bolts. One down there. Down here. And I put the outlet on this side. And the terminals on the other side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole for this SAE connector so we can hook a solar panel up or you can modify a battery charger to work with this. So after drilling that hole I drilled four more for these right here. So now what we'll do is these are 16 millimeter long M4 threaded bolts. Go ahead and put washers on them. Stick them through here. What I'll do is just feed all four through, throw them on the other side, and we'll have an SE connector. So as we can see now we have the four bolts in here, and we've now got an SE plug. And the tail ends are right here on the inside. So this is what we have so far. We have the battery switch, the SE connector, voltage detector. We've got the inverter mounted, those four bolts. Now I put the battery in here to try to figure out we're going to mount everything else. So the next thing I'm going to mount is the fan. And 
Let's see here about the casing. That's a pretty good spot right there. And I found a out of my hole saw kit. One that fits pretty good around all the edges. So there we go, there's our hole. See how well. I think that'll work pretty good. So I've gone through and marked where I want the holes to be for this fan cover. And I want it about right there. And I made some Sharpie marks. And I'll go ahead and drill those out. So I'll go ahead and screw these in. Just gonna stick this fan on the other side and what we'll do is put this on the other side, this will go on this side and we'll just screw this to there and that's how it'll be held in. So we'll go ahead and stick this over. I'll just get one of the... Now that's held in there really tight. So this is what the other side looks like. You can see we have the USB right here. We've also got high, medium, low, and off. You can see it's attached pretty good. And I set this up to where when we have this inverter plugged in, we can just plug it in right into that USB right there. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is mounting the solar charge controller. This one's just 10 amps, but it, it'll be fine for the solar panels I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to be doing, I didn't have a great spot for this, since the battery will be right here. I'm going to be mounting about right there. Now I've marked two of these holes over here, so I'll go ahead and drill those. So now what I'll do is put two bolts into here and I, this should be stable enough for me to draw two more on this side. So I'll go ahead and move these in. So I've got M4 again. I think these ones are 16 millimeter. So I'll go ahead and slide these through. Other side I'll put it on washers and nuts. So the last thing I'm attaching is this alloy right here, and I've done a quick outline right here, and I'm just cutting this out with the Dremel right here. So you can use whatever you want to cut this. I'm just using the metal cutting disc for the Dremel. You can just trace the outline, but you do have to be careful to not go over on the edges right here because they're pretty skinny. This came with some small little screws right here. So I had to go ahead and get these in there. So the next steps we need to work on is the wiring. The outlet and the fan are the easiest. Obviously you just plug in the outlet to the 120 volt socket on here and the USB from the fan goes into the inverter too. But what we'll need to do is solder some longer wires for the battery connection for the voltage detector. We'll solder on 10 gauge wire and these will go straight to the battery. We'll also need to cut these shorter and put them into the solar section on here for the SE connector so we can battery charge or solar charge the battery. We'll also need 10 gauge wires that go from the battery connection on the solar charger to the battery. And we'll need to hook up the two gauge wire for the positive lead to the battery disconnect and the battery disconnect to the positive wire on the inverter that we can go straight with two gauge wire from the negative connection on the battery to the negative connection on the inverter. So 
So what I've gone ahead and done is stripped both ends of a black and red wire. This will go to the battery, positive and negative, on the solar charge controller. What I'm doing now is attaching these so we can hook it up to the battery. So here's the tool right here. You just stick in this piece right there. Then we can just stick a piece of wire in there. You can hold it in there. You can we can get a really good connection. And I'll do the same thing on the other side for the red one. So the same thing for this one. Pretty good connection right there. Now with the same wires we just repaired, you wanna make sure this end's stripped. And what we'll do is stick it into the, right there. Let's take a flathead. Get that as tight as you can. Do the same thing on the, the black one. Now we'll hook up the wires from the SE solar port into the solar port here. So now it's hooked up. And what I've also done is this voltage sensor, it came with these wires right here to this length. But what I've also done is connected it to this longer wire and also hooked up a battery connector. And same thing on the red one. And all we'll do is slide this over. So we'll get the black one first. Now the red one, and these will just go straight to our battery. Off camera, I just made these connectors, and what I did was take the six feet of two gauge wire for the red and black, and I cut it to length, and I made some connections with these two gauge connectors, and I used this heat shrink. I used that same tool and hit them down, and now I have a good connection to hook up to the battery and inverter. So what I'm gonna do now is hook up all the grounds to the battery, and the black one right here is for the solar charger, the two gauge one is for the inverter and this green one is for the voltage sensor. So all I did was stick a M6 bolt through there. Right now let's get that flat on there. Just stick a washer on the other side and a nut. Now I'm gonna take the red wires from the voltage sensor and the solar charger and the two gauge wire that'll go from here to this ball right here to this um, battery terminal. I've went ahead and hooked everything up and I've got the red two gauge wire from the battery hooked to the right side of the battery shutoff and the left side of the battery shutoff hooked straight to the inverter. And I've also went ahead and hooked up the negative cable from the battery to the inverter. So I'll go ahead and do a test, the battery shutoff is off right now. So when I turn this on, we should get nothing. Go ahead and turn that off. Go ahead and turn this on. So there we go. It's working. We'll also take a look at this voltage sensor. We can see it's reading at 12.9 volts, and we'll check this against our solar charger.
12.9 volts. So those are both working good. And we'll do a quick test of our fan too. So we can see that's working. So everything's hooked up good. Now all I gotta do is test it with the solar panel. So I've got the finished product right here. We can see that I plugged in the 100 watt solar panel into our SA connector. We've got voltage. The battery disconnect is on. And we'll go ahead and do some tests. So I've got a Milwaukee charger and a Dremel right here. Charging. Everything's working good. Go ahead and open this up so you guys can see how many amps we're charging with. Fan's working, it's nice and cool in here. We're getting two amps charging right now. Battery's at 12.7 volts right now. So there's the finished product. And if you guys have any questions in your build, you can just go ahead and ask me in the comments.